What's up, my boy? What's up? Space Marine 2 just dropped. Brothers! What just happened? What just happened? <laughs> we got kegged up on <laughs> My whole screen went green and I didn't die. Yeah. Get from yes. Yes. <laughs> oh no, he's getting new. What? Three, two, one. Oh no, the nukes are. They didn't close in yet. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Get out of me! Why don't you tell me about the story though? In the story, you're playing as Titus, and you fight against an army of Tyranids, which are basically like, if y'all play Helldivers earlier in the year, which damn near everybody has, it's like the Terminids. I know the Terminids were inspired by the Tyranids, but you know, it's whatever. We're going to use them as a reference. Um, the and you, Xenomorphs. Yeah, the Xenomorphs. <laughs> you fight against an army of Tyranids to help with the planet evacuation. And that's pretty much the gist of it uh, for the early game. The later game definitely changes some things up and gets more into the lore of warhammer 40k which i would say me nor jose are familiar with it we have very little knowledge about the lore we haven't even played the first space marine game but i do think overall the game does enough to keep you engaged and just keep everything tracking along in a way that doesn't make it seem super confusing there are some moments where it's like what just happened but i don't think it's anything too crazy where it like takes you out of it um i think the way or rather, I think the game moves from area to area very well in the way that it handles its set pieces. It tops off every mission with like some crazy moment or some crazy boss battle or something like that. Something that's going to make you go like, God damn. You're either being swarmed by like thousands of enemies that you're like, oh, are they going to make it over here? Are they actually like rendered in the game? Then you're like, oh shit, they're actually rendered in the game. They're coming over here. Or it'll be something where like there's just a massive enemy on screen and then one of the characters just does something crazy that you didn't expect so overall i think the story is is pretty solid um if you have no knowledge of warhammer you might be a little bit confused but i think it does a good job of pulling new people in uh what's also interesting is if you're playing with a full party of three people the people who play as your other squad mates gadriel Gadri and chiron they actually have their own perspective, like they're actually their own characters, which usually in games you'll be in a, a party and everybody will just be the main character seeing the same thing. But in this game, they actually have different perspectives. It kind of reminds me of Dead Space 3, where the person playing as Carver would just be seeing wild shit sometimes. And you're playing as Isaac, and you're just chilling because there's moments where they would see something crazy and no one else would see it. And your character would actually comment like, hey, y'all see that? And they're like, nah, bro, you tripping so i think that's an interesting part of the game and it took us i was like 10 ish hours 10 11 hours to go through the entire campaign yeah honestly i don't think it was that i think it, it felt more like eight maybe nine yeah it, we basically we did it in two sittings uh we played on the normal difficulty which i wouldn't really say is that i think when you initially start the game it kind of can feel a little bit overwhelming uh with all the mechanics they're throwing at you in the beginning and you might die a few times but after that once you start getting used to everything, you start getting like the, the flow of combat. We really didn't die like at all, besides like maybe just making stupid mistakes. Like after the first area, we died like maybe three or four times the entire game. Most of our deaths were just running into giant hordes like we can handle this. This, ga <laughs> this game really does put you in that space marine mindset where you just pick up a big ass sword or hammer and you charge into like 50 people thinking you're invincible <laughs> and you will get humbled in some cases or in some cases you'll stand on their bodies on some kratos shit and just be like i'm i'm the goat <laughs> so overall i think the campaign i uh, was pretty enjoyable i think i don't really have i don't really have any complaints i'm assuming the more we get into like the the warhammer lore the more you know about it the more crazy stuff is in this campaign that'll pull other people in like the real fans of the series but even for someone who doesn't know anything about the lore i think it's a pretty solid campaign i don't have any complaints yeah and then you'll have you'll have sir yapper tan kind of give you a little rundown between each mission oh my god yeah there's every mission there's a the yapping you'll, you'll, you'll know who we're talking about there's a dude that just be yapping and just hating on you the whole game 
and it doesn't help because he's not the only person hating on you even one of your squad mates is hating on you the whole time jose was hating on me the whole game for no reason yeah, nah be like that sometimes you just gotta you gotta let them know they got ops everywhere <laughs> anyway story wise what do you give it huh for rating i was thinking eight out of ten but anyway, anyway let's get let's get to the gameplay that's the that's the mean potatoes what do you what do you think about that tell them tell them that's the whole meat of this shit let these niggas right. know <laughs> nah when it comes to the gameplay dude when you were saying it really like kind of puts you in the the mindset of you are one of these space marines my god the combat system in this game is crazy to me it puts you in a situation where you're just constantly sitting there like even though they're throwing hordes of enemies at you like jameer was saying earlier you will go in there in the most like i'm the shit mindset and i will fuck everything up next to me because my entire playthrough of this game i feel like even with how good like the weapons were because there are a variety of weapons that you can pick up throughout the game but when it comes down to the overall like melee combat system my god that shit was amazing you have like very specific mechanics between like countering certain moves you're dodging when you can't counter any of like their kind of like heavy hitting moves and then the best thing of all the fucking executions oh my god every dude every melee weapon comes with a different set of executions and the best part is once you were hitting those fucking crazy counters when you could perform execution after counters after like execution you were just feeling like the biggest badass um not sure how the harder difficulties play there were a few times where you know we did die just because of us just kind of running in there like why not just melee the shit out of all three thousand of these xenomorphs <laughs> like <laughs> um but overall it was just it was a great experience um i will say besides- that God. This game does a really good job of making you feel powerful whether you're using the weapons, like the guns, or whether you're using the melee. Like, you actually feel like both are legitimately viable options. It's not like one drastically outweighs the other. So I think that's dope that they put a lot of time into both of your options. Yeah, they also made it uh, so that you can combine both, both of your options. So when you're doing a crazy, like, dodge or counter, you can also just whoop out the nine and hit him with that <laughs> hit him with that freaking quick shot that i think that was the best part of like the gun mechanic to me when quick you execution would, yeah the quick execution especially the fact that you could do it on boss enemies oh the fact God. that yeah the fact that they had you in there treating the bosses like they were normal enemies and you can kind of pull these crazy stunts and moves and same thing with executions like it really just kind of it really sets a really good scene and, and makes you feel like a true badass when you're playing the game. Oh no, you hit back from my grenade. Beat his ass. <laughs> Fight back. Oh. <laughs> oh. One of the issues I would say gameplay wise is or what I didn't like was I and you can tell me Jameer if, if if this was like an issue for you i don't know if it was an issue for you since you were the host because i know there were a few times where you were still keeping your like main weapons but mm-hmm. when uh when me and alan were playing we were losing our weapons like after like certain cutscenes. so like we would get set straight back to default weapons it was kind of weird even if we like picked it up mid-mission rather than like our armory weapons uh that it did happen for me i think some missions they were definitely resetting our loadouts. For me, I wasn't, you guys were using like different guns. I was using the bolt rifle like the whole game. So yeah. it would reset us back to, I guess, the default bolt rifle. And I was already using it, so I didn't lose anything. Yeah. But I know you guys were using like the snipers and like the melta. So I, yeah. I never really noticed it, but they definitely were resetting our loadouts. Yeah. But overall, I mean, um, gameplay wise, and Jameer even said like story wise too, there, there was like certain points where it kind of feels like it, it gets a little like repetitive, but the crazy part is that once you start getting that feeling, they spice it up in multiple ways as time goes on. So it's one of those where it might start to feel like it's getting repetitive, but then like 10 minutes later, 
they throw something crazy your way and it's like damn like it really switches up like the game and how you're going to be playing it and your play style um, we don't want to go into too much details just to kind of not spoil too much but overall i'd say gameplay wise it's been a while since i've had an enjoyable game like now you say that every review we review games like every month <laughs> <laughs> I, you know that's why i pause i'm not gonna lie overall though i will give gameplay we're gonna go for another solid eight eight out of ten um my only reason for giving it an eight to be honest is like i said small little kind of gets a little repetitive but it does make up for it in in certain ways um and at the same time it's just one of those where it's just you know um the small little stuff little tweaks that they can do like you know, me being able to keep my weapons the entire time would be kind of nice all right jameer now what about the graphics huh so graphically this game looks pretty goddamn good i don't i don't know if that's even if that's an understatement because there are definitely some moments some set pieces that are just like damn and the main thing about this game that i think is super impressive i don't know if this is a graphics thing or performance thing but we're going to include it on the graphics is the amount the sheer amount of shit that they have on screen when you're fighting the tyranids there are so many of them just coming at you at once it's ridiculous like i haven't seen this many enemies on screen since like days gone or like dead rising 3. like they will swarm the shit out of you and it's like you think enemies in the distance are not fully rendered in and that they are not going to affect you but they actually run up to you and attack you it's crazy uh, that doesn't sound good oh yo um Oh, that's a lot. I'm just gonna, yeah, throw a few of these. In regard to that whole thing, the crazy part is that there were even enemies like off in the background that weren't coming after you, that you were still able to like shoot it, and do. Yeah, you could to. interact with them. You can and, kill them. And, and the craziest part is there was one one of the missions where. We were just kind of casually strolling by and there was a group of like our like little marines the normal marines <laughs> just freaking fighting off a whole horde by themselves and i was like i wonder if i could snipe them and i just started doming the tyranids and then they just casually like stopped like swarming them after i killed them all and then the marines just walk away and i'm like damn they really put that detail in there to the point where i could start sniping things from that far is crazy I think they did a they did a really good job. I think it really made it feel like an actual war or an actual like resistance because you would see as you're getting checkpoint to checkpoint, you get to see all of your squad mates or other space marines or other just marines fighting against thousands of these tyrannids, just mowing them down. And you have to see all the destruction and all the damage and everything that it caused. You get to see hundreds of thousands of them flying above you. It really seemed like they're like everyone's just fighting for like every inch to survive on this planet and i think they did a really good job with that you can tell in some cases where like there are moments we have to defend an area and the tier have to like run up a wall to climb at you you can kind of see that they're kind of like i guess the way they're programmed they're like programmed as a group so that entire group will like move together in one big clump so in those moments where you're just shooting at a clump that doesn't really have any distinguished like tyranids it can kind of break it a little bit but i don't think that's really that problematic given how successful they are with getting this amount of shit on screen without it killing the overall performance too badly i have mine my boy i have mine <laughs> <laughs> yeah for real it's like canonical exp explanation yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um and on top of that just ignoring that some of the set pieces that they render in this game a lot of the actually probably 95 percent of the game is all in game as far as the cinematics and the set pieces there are like three distinct moments where they have pre-rendered cutscenes honestly i don't i don't really know why they did pre-rendered cutscenes because the entire game you see them pull all this shit off in game all these crazy ass moments these big ass set pieces these giant enemies fighting all these armies then they just randomly go to like a pre-rendered thing so it's like i don't know it's kind of jarring a little bit because then after that pre-rendered thing you jump into like a random loading screen and it pulls you to like a random location and you're like oh okay so when the mission ends and you're on the ship <laughs> yeah 
the mission ends, you're just sitting on the ship quietly after just fighting like a demon spawn or something. It's crazy. <laughs> Turn off the reactor with this entire thing lose power. Oh, you see. <laughs> the whole thing just falls to the ground. <laughs> oh. oh, guess mission's over. <laughs> I was kind of anticlimactic. <laughs> he just cut to the ship, just chilling. <laughs> but I, I do think graphically this game is is definitely up there as one of the best looking games of this generation. It looks really, really good. Uh, the enemy count, again, is extremely impressive. The set pieces are extremely impressive. I think I can't really see anyone having any complaints on the graphics. And even the way your Space Marine looks, armor-wise, all the animations, you feel like you're like this heavy, hulking motherfucker. <laughs> Every step you take is like destroying the ground. You're like breaking things as you move into them. You really feel like this massive armored up Marine. And even the armor, the way like it doesn't really clip that much over each other. Everything looks like its own individual piece. It's they did a really good job graphically on this game. So I think, I think, again, this is the game of eights. I'm gonna give it another eight out of ten for the graphics. Anyway, performance. Let's let's get into that, Mister Mister. I find glitches. What do you what do you think the performance is like? It's not even I find glitches. It's just I break shit at this point. Glitches find you. <laughs> glitches find me. That's how it is. In regards to the performance, overall, like frame rate and God, I think I was actually playing at like max settings too. But like frame rate and, and overall like straight up performance, perfect. I had like no issues, even when they were throwing like hundreds of thousands of enemies our way. Like I don't think I lagged or had like a single frame drop. I think I was running it like a solid like 120 the entire time too. Um so I had like absolutely no issues in regards to like the overall kind of basic performance stuff, but I did run into like a few minor kind of game breaking glitches. <laughs> like when I was going to the armory to kind of customize the weapons and stuff the very first time we actually ran into the like where they showed us the armory and my character got stuck in the armory circle and I was unable to leave that area. Even if I left the game, I like in my main game, I got stuck in that armory area. And every time I would rejoin the game, it would load me up back in that general circle area. And if I would try to step out, my character would not move past a certain point. And I had to wiggle my way out <laughs> by doing like some weird like spam of the ADS key moving backwards at certain angles. And then at a certain point, it would just kind of suck you back in. So I had to be very careful of being near that armor area. I don't know what it was. Able to actually do, once we beat the campaign and we do the size stuff, it'll be like, what am I stuck on? She's gonna watch me. I can't. <laughs> Um, how'd you, how'd you get past that? <laughs> well, I can't, I can't get, I can't get past that, this area here. I just walked. It won't let me. I thought it was going to put me in the same spot. I was about to be mad as hell. Oh my god. The other issue I would run into was the cutscenes. So I, it wasn't an issue when we were first playing through, but after the second like sit down, some of the cutscenes after they would end would just leave me at a black screen. Like I don't know if it was just like an issue with the multiplayer side of things. Like I'm not sure if I would have the same issue if I was playing solo. But in regards to the multiplayer side, there there were quite a few quite a few bugs and the cutscene one was kind of annoying because it'd be like they're setting the stage for a crazy like you know swarm coming at you or a crazy boss fight 
and then I'm just sitting there staring at a black screen and I hear you and Alan like running off in the background fighting for your lives and my screen is just I see the little hit indicator for when I'm getting shot and I'm like wait we started already <laughs> so it's like I kind of miss that that you know that first initial start of the combat which was kind of upsetting because it you know they kind of built that whole cutscene for it and now I'm just missing out on their overall like initiation on it you know what I mean How do you think this is gonna go? Holy shit, we're fighting fucking. Oh my god. They can't be that tough. Of the thousand whoa, whoa, wait. Yo. Oh, they're teleporting. Wait. They're Chaos Marines. Wait. Right uh, in... <laughs> I can't believe it, I'm so high. Wait, are you guys in the game? Yeah. I'm on a black screen. I can't see. because no, you're dead. Oh no, yeah. no, no, I'm, I'm here. My screen was just black for some reason. The only other thing, and I'm pretty sure you saw it too, um, since you you know, you were talking about the armor and stuff like that and the, the clipping. For some reason, I don't know if you noticed in the second half, but the, the weird clipping of the armor and the cutscene, where it was like their side pieces would just flap forward and just kind of just be at that weird, just full Actually, blow. Of you're right, yeah, yeah. The, like, the little skirts that they're wearing, I guess they're skirts, were like pointed skirt. sideways for like, it was like half of a mission, it was really weird, like it just happened yeah. and just stopped happening randomly. Yeah, it was just, it was just like that. Um, but overall, it was, it was one of those where, oh, like, overall, like, graf like graphical performance-wise, it was, it was no issues. But overall, I mean, like I said, the armory one was kind of game breaking, which is kind of, you know, I feel like a big deal because I don't know, like, if I couldn't force my way out of it the way that I did by just slightly maneuvering my way out that weird way for a solid 10 minutes trying to figure it out. I don't know, like, what would happen, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, that was definitely the <laughs> biggest bug I think we encountered. That yeah. one was just like, we were just standing there for a minute trying to figure out what to do. <laughs> <laughs> I tried plugging in controllers, tried using, like, it was just, I was trying everything, so. But overall, I think performance-wise, just based off of the glitches and everything, and the, the small issues like that, I'll, I'll be honest, I'm going to give it, like, a solid 7. Because okay. just the amount of time that it, it took to get out of the armor, and the fact that it was, like, reoccurring after, and that I had to, <laughs> I had to just be very, very like smart about how i entered the armory <laughs> so that i wouldn't continue getting glitched and then just like i said the overall cutscene uh glitched because that kind of ruined the whole second half of the game for me it kind of sucked just sitting there staring at the black screen after you know an intense cutscene and i'm just like oh my god what's happening <laughs> besides i'm getting my ass beat in the background so despite all the issues we just listed the reason we're giving it a seven is because Weirdly enough, out of the we were playing, it was a group of three of us. All of this stuff only happened to Jose. <laughs> yes. That's why normally, like with all these noted performance problems, we would give it lower score. But it only happened to a third of us, so we don't know if that's like a fringe case. But we still figured it's something that we should mention. Yeah. Or it, it might just be me. Experience. All right, now. Now that we're in the thick of it, time to get into the multiplayer, Jameer. Ah, uh, the multiplayer. So, I love my third person shooter multiplayers. I am like, I have been searching for like the one to be my perfect multiplayer experience. Like first for me, we're just going to give a little history lesson. For me, I have shitty internet. I never really liked multiplayer games. I miss the wave on a lot of them. The first multiplayer game I got into really heavy was Ghost Recon Future Soldier. No one's played that game. Multiplayer was fire. <laughs> then that game died. And the next game I got into was the first Last of Us multiplayer. And I was waiting for Last of Us 2's multiplayer for years just for Sony to cancel it. And I'm still coping with that. So now knowing that I basically have no third person multiplayer game to go to at this point. I was a little bit excited to play this one to see kind of what they were going to do with it, and... Well... 
we played one game it was interesting and that's all we have to judge it on because we weren't able to get into a match after that <laughs> we got into one match of tdm got to experience like a little bit of all the classes they had to offer and then have never been able to get into a match since i don't know what i don't know if there's just not people playing i don't know if it's something matchmaking or server wish like or there's like a server problem but we just couldn't get into another game yeah and this is for like the pvp side for yeah even from like the general gameplay like the general gameplay was like cool you know we got to get a little taste and feel but then after that it was just like crash like <laughs> the second we tried to go into any multiplayer mode that wasn't quick match it would just find no one we'd be sitting there for like a half hour searching for a game it, it, we did quick match it would just it'd be hit or miss whether it'd find someone mostly miss because we never got into a game again so i i mean the multiplayer was cool the pvp multiplayer was cool for the one match we got but I, we can't really even <laughs> judge it on anything because we couldn't really play it so it's kind of a uh, that's kind of hard to even rate but there's another aspect of the multiplayer which are operations now th throughout the campaign you'll hear like of another squad that's doing some missions on the on the side while you guys are doing like the main mission and you can actually play as that other squad doing those other side missions so they're basically story expansions uh just expanding on the main campaign that you can play with your squad of three again so it's basically a story expansion multiplayer pve again so it just offers more customization than the main campaign whereas you can play as like the assault troopers and stuff like that but the pvp multiplayer didn't really work so this is kind of a mixed bag considering half of it was not functional <laughs> um for this one i'm thinking i might say five five out of ten I feel like you gotta you gotta say five since the other half didn't. <laughs> I don't know if it's just us. Maybe we have to come back to it, but we literally like we could not get a game. I don't like even we yeah. switched hosts to have someone else search and we just could not get a game. Yeah, it was it was just like a crazy issue where we were just standing there staring at the loading screen. And then the worst part was when if somebody did start a search, it would also kind of lock you in. And like you wouldn't be able, like I wasn't able to stop a search at one point. And then when we would try to rejoin each other to regroup up after like someone would crash, then it wouldn't even like you just get the joining lobby like thing and you just stand there trying to join another person's lobby for like 20 minutes. So it just seemed like the multiplayer aspect in general was kind of buggy. Uh, I'm not sure server thing like Jameer was saying or, or what, but just kind of sucks because it's like when we did get into it it wasn't like it was terrible it was like we were still trying to get a feel for it and then we couldn't really follow up on it after that so yeah so the multiplayer like it's weird it almost even broke the game in some points because it basically made our games just crash endlessly while we were yeah. trying to search so i don't know what was up with that but that was just a really weird that's probably the worst experience of this game overall so anyway final thoughts i'd say if you want to feel like a badass space marine and you just want to go crazy taking on hordes of enemies play this fucking game <laughs> i mean yeah pretty much Waking every day, I don't see shit change. Trying to figure out what I can do about it. Trying to put my crew on, but the shit is too small. Maybe it's a stretch, nigga. We could even rock it. Yeah, we gotta lift off, but the shit is too slow. Lately, y'all been feeling like this motherfucker stalling. Seeing rock bottom and the sight is so appalling. Had to take off.